It is now 6:17 on this Monday night. Betsy, uh, you can, you're an expert in so many things. Would you consider yourself a leaf expert as well? A leaf expert? Yeah, we have, we just quoted leaf experts who say, you know, this is the trees are behind this year. Are you, are you a leaf expert too? Negative. Okay. No, not even close. You do so many things. I, just, I pass I that know. off to Matt. Okay. <laughs> So please ask all questions to him. <laughs> you got it. He, he's got the whole breakdown of chlorophyll and everything. He, he knows it all. So Matt Wentz at WKYC.com for those questions. Boy, am I in trouble now. Temperatures in the upper 40s as we go through the evening. We have a lot of cloud cover that is filling in now. Those clouds will eventually begin to bring us some lake effect rain showers and even the possibility of a little snow mixing in from time to time. Right now, though, the radar is dry. But wind becomes a huge deal as far as the forecast goes. And remember, Lake effect is a very small scale event. If the lakes weren't here, we wouldn't have the lake effect. OK, so there's that. So we kind of have to parse things out into different categories when we start talking about lake effect or the forecast. And then not only do we have to deal with Lake Erie, but remember, we have other lakes that we have to keep in contention as well. So we're adding layers in here. And a lot of this goes back to wind, wind direction and wind speed. You've probably felt that wind today, a little brisk coming out of the west. We still have the west wind. This is your surface wind direction. So right here at the bottom of the atmosphere, that's what your anemometers are showing in the backyard and all that stuff. But when you go on the bigger scale, there are changes in wind direction that come into play. And all of that is where weather systems start to come into the picture. Weather system to the south of us is driving that westerly wind, but there's also, notice here, these northwesterly winds that are coming in, and that is picking up these snow showers. Notice, too, the difference between how much snow is going on north of Lake Superior and how much rain and snow is going on south of Lake Superior and then into northern Michigan. That's the lake effect. It enhances the ambient chances for rain and, in uh, winter cases, some snow. So if we go ahead and put on the temperatures then, so here's another thing we have to consider is how cold is it? It's plenty cold. And not only are we dealing with that, this cold air stretches out to the west. So this cold air is here. It is here to stay. And as it's coming in, our wind direction begins to change and we start to lay down that foundation for the lake effect rain and or snow that's going to be going on. So I am going to throw a little trick at you. We still have the west wind. These are your surface winds right here. But you can see this very light purple shading of these wind streams. That's the 850 millibar temperature. So think about 1500 feet or so just above the surface. And if we kind of put this into motion, you can see that the winds just above the surface are still coming in off of the lake. Temperatures are getting chilly tonight. We'll probably see some freezes farther south. But tomorrow morning in your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast into the afternoon, notice the change in the wind direction just above the surface in regards to at the surface. So it's a west wind at the surface, west northwest wind just above the surface, and that is what will be driving the lake effect. So a lot of times we get locked into that surface wind direction, but you can't do that with lake effect because it's coming in just above that. So that opens things up a little bit across most of the south shore of Lake Erie for some lake effect rain tomorrow, especially tomorrow evening. And then tomorrow night into Wednesday into Thursday, that northwest wind uh, just above the surface, bringing in that cold there across the relatively warmer waters of Lake Erie. You know what I'm talking about. We're going to have more and more chances for that lake effect rain. And yes, probably some snow, maybe even some minor accumulations in the high terrain area east of Cleveland, that good old primary lake effect. So here's your union home mortgage forecast. We're in it, friends. It's kind of chilly here, but it won't be this way for long. By Friday and into the weekend, we're going to turn things around and we are looking at a glorious autumn weekend for Saturday and Sunday. So let's focus on that and we'll keep you apprised of what's going on with this lake effect in the days to come. Jimmy's up next. He's got that breakdown on that Browns heartbreaker.